Guys, it's no secret that I love plant propagation, but there's one other thing that I absolutely love and I have an addiction to collecting and it drives my wife absolutely crazy. They're really having fun out there. And that is containers. I love containers of all types. I love plastic totes. I love Tupperware, not in the house. I hate Tupperware in the house, but I love Tupperware in the plant propagation field, right? Because they're clear and they're plastic and you can propagate inside of them. I'm walking through stores, man. I see a glass jar or some sort of a sealable tote or a lid or something, and I go nuts. It's like I got to have it for propagation. You guys have probably got the same problem going on. I understand it completely. But the other day, my wife was eating some yogurt, and I noticed something. I'm watching her take this yogurt container out of the fridge, and I'm looking at this yogurt container, and I'm going, something has got to be done with that thing. I mean, look at this thing, guys. It's perfect in every way. It's tall, it's narrow. You could fit one big cutting or maybe several smaller cuttings. It's got a clear plastic lid built right into it. It's almost as if the Chobani company wanted us to propagate. They wanted us to put cuttings in these things. I mean, it's, it's per, it seals, it's perfect. I'm gonna go take stock out in this company before I post this video. All right, let's go. So my wife planted a beautiful little bed of plants here. We went to the nursery in the early spring. And we bought up a few things and we've got some geraniums right here that are just really bizarre, cool colors. We've got another one here, another one right here. In fact, I think that's the same one right there coming through. And then we've got a little guy over here. It's got a beautiful pink color to it and lots of luscious growth on there. But I definitely, We've got some rosemary here. We're going to have to do something with that. I'll probably propagate some of that later on in the year. A little fuchsia's going on, but I love this cutting right here. It just looks good. It's standing out to me. There's no flowers on it right now, and it's saying, Mike, please take me and propagate me. Make me a child of my mom here, and we're going to do just that right now. All right, guys, so we've got our yogurt container here. We've got our lid for it, and we've got our geranium. Isn't that a beautiful little cutting? So I just went and snipped that little guy off that you saw kind of shooting off the edge of the plant there. It's even got a little flower, a nice little salmon orange kind of color. Pretty little guy, but what we're gonna do, I snipped it off right here. I'm just gonna pull that off, pull all these excess branches off as you see. And you guys know all about doing that kind of stuff. And we're gonna have plenty of wounds on this guy right where we pulled off right where we pulled off those branches. There's, there's no need to actually wound this guy anymore. And it's such soft, succulent, supple growth that it does not need any more wounds than what we just did for it. So let's kind of measure this out a little bit. And I think I'm gonna end up, let's see, I'm gonna leave that on there. Let's see how we're gonna do. This guy's gonna be too big. We're gonna have to cut her down. All right, so let's cut this down one more notch. <clears throat> and we'll have a much shorter cutting there that will work better. In fact, I'm going to take these off as well till we're just down to those little guys right there. And I'm going to have to actually stick this guy in here sideways a little bit so it fits down in there. But let's do this. And I want to show you something too. I put the bark in here. It is not, I never put any water in there. I didn't moisten it at all. All I did was just take some wet or damp, not wet, but damp bark and put it in here. We don't want to water this at all. It's such a small enclosed container. We could spritz with a spray bottle, but we don't want to put any water from the sprinkler. It'll get too soupy in there. 
So, let's get our rooting hormone. We'll dip this cutting in. And we're just going to take it and kind of stick it down at an angle down in this yogurt cup so it fits. Because it's actually a pretty good sized cutting. And it might not fit otherwise. <clears throat> there it is. Now we're going to take our lid and it's just going to sit right on top there. And there she is guys. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful little sight? Propagating in a yogurt cup. I absolutely love it. All right, now that we got this little guy stuck, he's ready to go. He's in his little yogurt cup. We're just going to set it right here on the north side of a building where there's plenty of shade from the sun, but we're getting plenty of overhead skylight. And you can see the humidity is already building up in there. Isn't that a beautiful little cutting? He is going to take off and do absolutely well in there. And to prove that point, I'm only sticking one cutting, guys. So I'll come back when there's something to show you, and I'll see you, in, or you'll see me in just a few seconds. All right, guys, so the moment of truth is here. So we've got our little yogurt cup here with our geranium in it. And isn't that a cool looking little guy? So I actually uh, took the lid off. Here's the lid here. I took the lid off about a week and a half, two weeks ago because the new growth was pushing up past it and uh, just kind of knocking into it too much. And you can see I've got new little baby growth coming out right there. And so this guy's rooted. He's going to take off. Let's take a look at these roots and see what happens. Oh, by the way, when I took the lid off, I had a spray bottle and I spritzed it every, I don't know, every few hours for the first day. And then just once a day after that, and it was doing just fine. So I knew it had roots, but let's pull this guy out and see what we're going to get. Ah, look at that. Look at all that, guys. We've got roots. What a healthy little geranium. Let me, uh, let me show you that. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And that is a beautiful variety. I'm going to pop this guy up and we're going to get some a good, solid, healthy little plant. I'm going to rinse this off just to show you. These guys bounce back quick, so I'm not worried about it at all. All right, guys, so I rinsed all the bark off there, most of it. And you can see that guy has rooted just awesome right there. It's got tons and tons of little roots. Once again, I just love that look. Look at all that bubbly callus. Can you see that? All that bubbly callus just kind of forming and building up and all those roots just striking right out past that stuff. Just love that look. That's just such a cool, really neat looking little cutting there. And it rooted big healthy roots. It's going to grow on really awesome. And we did it all in a yogurt cup. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that is just so cool, man. Getting a little rooted cutting right there. Just any container you got at home, man. But that guy's going to grow on great. So I'm going to pot this up into a, probably a one-gallon pot. We'll fertilize it, water it well. It'll bounce right back and grow awesome roots. And it's going to turn into a nice little plant that my wife can put on our back patio. So I hope you guys like this little video. It was fun to make. If you like it, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.